In addition to the UAL Extended Diploma, which is worth three A-levels, students can also opt to study an additional pathway. This might be an A-level in English Lit, History, Mathematics, or it might be an AS level in Film Studies or English Lit. Students that don't achieve a Grade 4 in their English or Maths GCSE will also continue with those subjects until they achieve that number four grade, which is what the government requires us to do. So all of these subjects are wrapped up together under the title Pathways. Students that opt for a pathway, an A-level subject, need to be really committed because that is that fourth A-level subject. So we're looking for commitment, dedication, and a real passion for that particular A-level subject. Let's hear from those subject leaders about each of the pathways and what topics will be covered within those A-levels. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Tom Waits and I'm Head of Maths at the Brit School. We have an amazing team of expert mathematicians here at Brit. And one of our biggest challenge is that the majority of students that come to the school say that their least favourite subject before coming to this school is maths. So our biggest challenge is really just kind of turning that around. Now our teachers are, are so skilled, they're so creative in the way that they deliver their lessons. They make the lessons interesting, they make it relevant. In a very, very short time, students have a completely different perception of what maths is and they absolutely love it. Students leave here at the end of GCSE or A-level, they're very confident mathematicians and not just be able to pass exams, but they can take what they learnt in, into real life and they're happy. They don't find maths such a chore anymore, they start to enjoy it. Uh, and that is something that's really, uh, that shines through for every student that leaves this department. Last year, for example, we had 94% of students in GCSE out of 195 students getting a pass grade and 83% of those are getting a level five and above. 33% of those students got the top grades, seven, eight or nine pass mark, which is incredible. Um, our A-level results were absolutely exceptional this year with uh, 19 students took the A-level um, and 89% of them got A star to B, which is absolutely outstanding. So we understand that students that come here are creative. They're musicians, they're actors. Uh, they are brilliant at the, the, in their strands but they are also academic and we bring the best out of the child in every area. I'm Elaine Nelson, I'm Head of English and Literacy. I'm Mike Offen and I'm Deputy Head of English. Okay, post 16 we offer AS English Literature as well as A-level English Literature. So that sits alongside their strand subject and we will um, provide students with five hours of taught lessons a week and the expectation would be that the students match that with independent work at home. Um, we're at an incredibly popular A-level at the school um, and like Elaine was saying we put all students in for AS in the first instance and then two thirds of our students tend to go on for the full A-level after that. Our thread for the course is tragedy, which makes things nice and simple. Um, so students have really enjoyed um, GCSE English literature. Um, this is a chance for them to, to narrow their focus and get into some really kind of um, juicy texts such as Othello and Death of a Salesman. Um, for A-level, um, like with tragedy, the focus is on um, political and social protest writing, which is great. Um, we study some really exciting writers such as William Blake, um, Ibsen. Students also get the chance to do their own bit of coursework where they choose their text and they choose a chosen theory, which um, a lot of students really find exciting. One of the popular texts at A-level is The Kite Runner because it's quite um, topical. So again, as Mike has said, studying the political and social protest text. They also will do an independent study piece, which we choose, and, and it's great because Mike and I will always select things that are very, very current, that they explore different um, political ideas. So that's more or less the A-level and AS. Hi. My name is Derek Moir, I'm the Head of History and um, I will teach you China between 1936 to 1997 to prepare you for the modern world. Hi, I'm Tarbo Stuck. I teach the British Empire unit. We picked the topic of the British Empire with the time we're living through in mind. Uh, we wanted a topic uh, that would be politically challenging and very much reflective of modern day Britain. Uh, with the controversial nature of the empire, we find it really important that young people 
are equipped to take part in the debate uh, with critical thinking uh, and lots and lots of passion. Having a good understanding of history will, will make you a better practitioner, it will make you a better artist, it will be, make you a better actor. And we're really passionate about the way that there really is a, an interaction between history and, and the arts. And uh, we'll use things like propaganda, we'll, we'll use film because it's reflective. Um, uh, and it's really, really important to actually see how those interlink. My name is Maxine Gordon. I am part of the film media production team at the Brit School and I teach AS Film. Um, the AS Film course comprises of studying really classic films, traditional films, but also new groundbreaking ones as well that come from the independent sector. Um, so you might study from like Casablanca and Blade Runner, but then you'll do like groundbreaking work like Train Spotting and Pan's Labyrinth. So it's really eclectic. But I'll tell you another thing that's really good about Pathways is that you learn in a very small community how to create a film to a very high professional level, just like they do on the film Strand courses. Because it's Brit School, AS Film is like no other. The equipment is highly professional. You get access to TV studio, TV gallery, professional cameras, lighting, equipment and sound recording. So even though you may be an accomplished dancer, great actor, you will then, if you do AS film, become a very, very accomplished filmmaker in a very, very short space of time. Um, so AS film is definitely, yes, it's an additional um, commitment to your strand course, but at the end, all the students say it's perhaps the best thing that they've ever done and best thing they ever chose at British School. And now you've heard from all of the subject leaders, you can find out more information on each of those courses in the prospectus or online.